Hi friends, I'm going to talk about my favorite literary oddball today, Emily Dickinson. She's a super well-known poet, but she's also known for being a recluse, and today I'm going to go into why she was a recluse. We don't have one exact reason nailed down, there are actually several different theories. Before I get into why Emily Dickinson was a recluse, I want to give you guys some examples of what she did. She didn't go to her father's own funeral, even though it was held in her house and she was upstairs. She did listen to the service, but she didn't go downstairs. She didn't actually go to the funeral with the rest of her family and friends. Another example is when visitors would come over and she wouldn't want to see them face to face. They would come and knock on her bedroom door to come and see her and she would talk to them through the closed door. Honestly, if I could have gotten away with that as a child, I would have tried, but my mom would not have allowed that. Another example of her reclusiveness is when she desperately needed medical attention. Towards the end of her life, her kidneys were beginning to fail and she needed to see a doctor, but she wouldn't let the doctor examine her. She would stand in the doorway and ask him what was wrong with her, but not let him actually touch her or see what was wrong. This presented a huge medical challenge for the doctor because he didn't know what to do. He couldn't take her temperature, hear her heartbeat, see what was irregular and what was normal, so he had to guess the whole entire time based on what she said she was going through. Being that she was so reclusive, Emily didn't really have a lot of friends, but she did have some pen pals that she wrote to back and forth with over the years. One of those people was Thomas Wentworth Higginson, and he was writing with her for eight years before she finally agreed to meet him. He said that it was very odd and that she was very childlike and that it was super weird. Now let's go into theories about why she was such a recluse. So Emily actually wasn't a recluse before she was 25. She spent her whole entire childhood and early adult life out in the public interacting with people and then all of a sudden doors were closed. It was like she was Elsa shutting everybody out. The first theory is that she had social anxiety, meaning that she was super nervous to be around other people. Uh, she was really jumpy whenever the doorbell rang and that story about when she wouldn't talk to people unless it was through a closed door actually supports this theory that she had social anxiety. She just got super nervous whenever she was around other people. And another theory that relates to anxiety is agoraphobia. Agoraphobia is when you're afraid to go into the outside world because it might be dangerous. You want to stay in your own home where it's super safe. And Emily Dickinson ended up writing a lot of poems about death, how she was afraid of death. And if she went outside, she may have caught a disease at the time called tuberculosis. Many people were dying from it because there wasn't a vaccine, there was no medication for it. Uh, people were dying all over the place, rich, poor, it didn't matter. Emily's fear of death dates back to her early childhood. She had some family members, some close friends, die from tuberculosis and other diseases. When she was a, an adult, she had a nephew and he died at a very young age when he was a toddler. Eventually her mother and father died, furthering her poetry about death. And later in her life, she actually had what seems to be a romantic interest. He was a judge and after his own wife died, he wrote several letters back and forth between him and Emily. He did eventually die before her and she was even considering marrying him. So that would have been a huge blow to her whole entire life. You're in love with someone and then suddenly they're gone. Emily herself did not want to die. Tuberculosis was rampant, kind of like coronavirus, but a lot more deadly. And there wasn't any test for it to see if you had it. Maybe Emily Dickinson was just quarantining herself like we are currently with the coronavirus. Another theory is that she stayed inside because of an eye affliction. Basically she had this huge problem where when she went outside she was super sensitive to light and her eyes would hurt. It was a very painful condition for her to experience and doctors suggested that she stayed in a dimly lit room and that she didn't read or write until they figured out how to completely treat it. She was afraid of going blind, so she did stay in dimly lit rooms, but obviously she didn't really follow the no writing or no reading rule because she was a poet. That was her whole entire life, even though many people didn't know that she was a poet. Remember how I said that Emily Dickinson didn't go to her own father's funeral? There may have been another reason besides social anxiety for her not attending. She had a very difficult relationship with her father. Whenever she was slightly sick, or showed any signs of allergies or if there were bad weather outside, her father would not allow her to, to go to school, sometimes for a month or two at a time. He kept her in isolation to protect her, but Emily didn't really like that. 
The community started to notice that Emily wasn't going to church, which was a huge no-no at the time. Everyone in the whole entire community was going to church. However, some of Emily's poems suggest that she wasn't really a huge fan of the church. She disapproved of some of the teachings and maybe she just really didn't want to interact with those people in society that would judge her for her own point of view. Or, you know, maybe Emily just wanted to stay inside to work on her poetry. A lot of women were not appreciated in this time and if she stayed inside she could focus on her own work and create art just for the sake of making art. She wanted to be undisturbed. She wanted to have a place to write her poems and that was her room. Many people didn't know how many poems she was writing or how serious she was about her work until she died. Her sister Lavinia ended up going into her room and found over 1,800 poems that were locked away. She was instructed to burn all of the letters that she had in her possession, but Lavinia did not burn the poems and eventually got them published after Emily's death with the help of her brother. There's a lot of reasons why Emily could have been a recluse. Ultimately, we won't know because we can't interview her. Even though Emily was a recluse, she wrote some extremely passionate poems and she observed what was around her. She wrote some of the most unique poems in her time and had one of the most unique voices ever in poetry. Although she was odd, she was pretty cool lady. Alrighty friends, before we go, I'm going to give you guys an update on the plants. It's been a couple of weeks and all of my plants are growing. They are actually starting to grow towards the red lights up here because they are UV lights. So this one is kind of going that way. This one is kind of going that way to meet the red lights. Friends, if you have any more questions about Emily Dickinson, leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them. Bye.